I rented my cats their own apartment in London. Whoa! Oh, dear God. <laughs> How many cats? Uh, there were two at the time. And what were their names? Uh, it was Terry and Steve. <laughs> the... the Irwins? <laughs> <laughs> your cats were in London? Um, you know, because I, um, I moved there and I thought I was going to live there. So I, I, like, I flew them over with me. So um, why didn't they live with you? Um, I... <laughs> Miff, you're either doing real good... <laughs> I like this technique of laughing to give yourself thinking time as well. <laughs> are your two cat are they fine in like a one better or did you have to get a two better? What Well, it was a it was a one better, but it was a kind of like a, a studio situation. Oh yeah, they gotta have a kitchen, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well they had a kitchen and a bathroom and a laundry, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, I picture the little cats taking off their fur and putting it in the washing machine. <laughs> And then just watching it in the dryer go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> trying to put it on, it's too small. <laughs> How long were the cats there in the apartment for by themselves? Six or? months. Six months? Who, wow, that was a long who day. Who fed them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> a friend moved in, but we had to pay half the rent for the cats. What? That's the first believable that, thing yes. that you've said. <laughs> <laughs> what type of cats you got? Um, two greys. Moggies, beautiful, beautiful fellas. They love the London lifestyle. They really enjoyed the weather. Um, it's a bit cooler. What was <laughs> it about the lifestyle that they loved? I think it was just the freedom, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there was, they, you know, they didn't have any of that baggage of living at home, you know, back in Australia. No one knew who they were. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't have to go to all those parties. Kind of like, yeah, and... and it was kind of like a fresh start. You know, no. you could be whoever you want to be. Yeah. You know, they could trot off to London Fields nearby and just, you know, no one would be judging them. They didn't have any reputation. They could just start fresh. So, yeah, they were living their best lives. That was, that was some fun nonsense, but I... Um... <laughs> Charlie, what do you think? And I don't know what to think. <laughs> I know. See, I suspect... She was Feel deflecting. free to chip in. Yeah, she was deflecting. For sure. Yeah, she was deflecting. And I feel like the halting, stumbling, confused, mm. often at times deranged way of it telling was, a story... It was, it was verging on insanity yeah, at times. Verging on insanity. It was, and I believe right. that that was all a ruse. I, I'm going to throw in a... Spanner. Mm. You could have said a cat amongst the pigeons. Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. What's Miff's side hustle that she can afford to rent? Oh, An the Spicks and Specs live tour made a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, guys? True or a lie? We will feel like idiots when we're wrong, but we're going to say it's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Miff Warhurst, is this story true or a lie? It is, in fact. I'm a dirty ruse, it's true. Yeah. Lucky cats, it is true, and you'll be happy to know the cats did manage to claw their bond back. <laughs> <laughs>